afternoon you guys it's Callie the witch I'm so excited to be doing this video today in collaboration with my gypsy sister Miss Rita Marie um, I will leave all links below we have joined forces together to bring you a year's worth of journal prompts and sharing our work I will be doing a book and she will be doing a book uh, and each month we'll pick a different theme, if you will, and we're not going to share each other's pages until the release date, which will be on the 15th of every month, uh, starting this month, August 15th, and you're probably, that's the day you're hearing this, it's not the day I'm filming it. Uh, and our the reason that we began this was uh, we definitely knew we wanted to do something together when we, we met, and... Um, you know, I've only been on YouTube a short time, and the amazing people that I've met here just blow me away. And she was one of them. I started watching Rita Marie's videos, and I felt a very strong connection with her. I love her art, her style, who she is as a person. And we've gotten to know each other, and I'm so blessed to call her my sister. And we had been thinking of doing something together, but it kind of got pushed to the forefront when... Uh, Rita Marie hosted a giveaway on her channel, and the person who won that giveaway is Marianne McMillan, and we refer to her as Nana Number no. 3 here on YouTube. And as part of her prize package, uh, Rita had asked what kind of artwork she would like, and Nana requested a drawing of Rita as the, the gypsy and myself as the witch. And that just kind of got our creative juices flowing, and the gypsy and the witch... We have been Skyping back and forth for weeks now, and we've come up with this idea, a creative journaling journey. And again, we're going to be doing a different prompt each month. This month's prompt was summer festivals, peace, love, music, and art. And that's near and dear to this hippie's heart. So we've each done a page, and I'm going to show you um, what I've done. And... If you'll get comfortable and sit back, I hope you'll join me as I show you my creative process. Uh, bear with me as I'm learning editing, and I, I hopefully these, these will improve as my uh, journal pages go on. So um, I put a cover on my... Uh, Rita created two journals, uh, one for each of us, obviously, out of mixed media paper, and I took mine, and I've put it in this cover cover and um, I'll show you just unties with this ribbon which when we're all done at the end of the year I'll be hanging some charms on this um, it has a very simple three hole binding um, and this is just some satin floss and then it opens up and inside we have the journal and we've decided to do, and I'll show you this, we've decided to do a two-page spread for our first and last on entries in the journal. And I told you our theme was summer festivals, peace, love, art, and music and art. And I'm a Woodstock girl for sure. So I took this and ran with it. And I hope that you will join me as I share the process I used um, there was really no method to my madness, but I'm very pleased with the way it came out, and uh, I hope this inspires you to join along with us as we um, do a creative journaling journey for the rest of the year. So hang on, and the here we thing go. thing that I'm going to show you is how I'm going to put a cover on this magical journal. And as I showed you, you know, before, Rita made two of these, one for me and one for her. And it's just very basic, mixed media paper and some floss. And she put a cover on hers, and I'm going to put a cover on this one as well. Um, again, we're going to be exchanging these at the end of this project, and so this is being made for her. And I've decided to put a cardboard cover on it. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to use, well, cardboard covered in fabric, and I'll show you what I'm going to use. So I have this, and then I have a few sheets of this just mixed media paper, and I have 
Uh, this is just some cardboard uh, packaging that came. I got a book from Amazon in the mail the other day. Um, but this actually is going to work out perfectly uh, for what I have in mind. Um, and what I have in mind is to cover this this way. And then, yes, we're going to have it close up like this as well. And I'll have a tie for it. Uh, so that cardboard but if you don't have anything like this you certainly can just take some cardboard or chipboard or you know whatever you have on hand and this measures out to uh, let me see I'm surrounded by measurements here and I can't mm -hmm. 17 this is almost 26 inches by 11 and a half yeah so you know I have this cutting grid if you don't have something like this um, to measure you can use t a standard tape measure just something that's going to fit the size of whatever journal you're working with um, and I have a rotary cutter which makes things easy to line up and cut but if you don't have that you can just use a pair of scissors and I have quite a few pair of scissors but these are my good scissors that I keep away with my sewing things that I do not use or let anyone else use for anything else. Um, the fabric that I'm going to be using today was gifted to me from my dear friend Ellen and so isn't this great you guys? So this is what I'm going to be covering the cardboard with and I'm just going to uh, use some of my uh, Americana uh, Deco Art Decoupage. Um, this isn't specifically for fabric, but I know it will work. If you don't have something like this, you can use tacky glue or a glue gun or any kind of adhesive that you'd like. Uh, gel medium would work. Um, I have, I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to use some ribbon, so ribbon or charms of your choice. And I am going to be um, re-threading this when I sew it. And I'm going to use this, um, it's kind of satin, and it's a little thicker than standard uh, embroidery floss. I hope you can see this okay, I'm not really sure where I am in frame. And what else do I have? I have a little uh, sealer when I put the uh, decoupage on the fabric. I'm going to just wipe out any air bubbles with this. You can use a credit card, anything like that, any kind of scraper. And then, of course, any sewer has their little tomato and strawberry, right? Um, you want to make, I'm going to use a heavy duty needle, so um, because I'm going to be using this floss um, as well as I may be using the ribbon, ribbon, but it has a very large eye and it's really sturdy. Um, this actually has a bit of a bend in the bottom. Um, I believe this is a book binding uh, or a leather needle, um, but you need a heavy duty needle because otherwise, um, you know, when you're going through cardboard and cloth and paper, uh, a standard flimsier needle would break. So I am going to, like I said, we are going to um, measure out the fabric to fit around the cardboard and I'm going to use the decoupage to glue it down, smooth it out. Um, once that's done on the outside, I'm going to take the mixed media paper and just kind of glue it over. I'll glue the fabric around, uh, you know, the inside of this cardboard. And then I will take the mixed media paper and lay it down. And then we are going to add, I'm going to re-string this with this. I'm going to line up the holes that uh, Miss Rita Marie so nicely put here. I'm going to punch three new holes through this binding. And I'm going to just sew through the signatures through here, which will be covered with cloth, obviously. And then we'll just let some of these dangle on the outside. And again, I may use some of this ribbon. I may not. Um, when the cloth is glued down, I'll come back in 
and just cover up the inside so it will kind of look like this. And we're going to be doing a double page spread for our first um, journal entry here. So I'll be actually uh, working on that inside surface along with this. Um, and I'll trim everything to fit. And I will see you back here when that's all done. So again, fabric on the cardboard, paper on the cardboard, sew in the um, signatures, and oh, you know what? I'm going to use this ribbon to tie it shut. That's what we're going to use the ribbon for. So when that's all complete, I'll see you guys back here. Okay, so guys, I'm back, and I'm going to show you what I did. Um, I told you I was going to glue the fabric onto the cardboard and then insert the journal and that's just what I did. And I attached this ribbon for closure which I will wind up adding some charms to. Um, it just wraps around and then this opens up and here we have our journal. So I told you I just kind of laid it in here um, and I took a pencil and I poked through the holes that were already existing. I lined them up on the inside after I had put the uh, paper down over the cloth and then I just sewed through it. And you can see on the outside I just did a simple and then through the middle hole I tied a knot on the other end of this ribbon and I threaded it through from the inside. And then on the back under this piece of paper, I just, <clears throat> excuse me, I just used some packing tape and taped it down and then glued this paper on top of it. I don't care that the paper colors don't match and that there's paint and things like that because these are all going to get covered up. These will be collaged on, painted on, covered up. Uh, so here we have it, just fold up. And then again, you're going to use the this, and I'll be attaching some charms probably when I'm all done, um, as well as to the outside. So now that the cover's done, I'm just going to jump in and get started on our first uh, page here. And our theme for our first page is Summer Music Festival, Peace, Love, Music, and Art. And uh, that's near and dear to my heart. And this is uh, Woodstock, is, the Woodstock reunion is a week away. And uh, I'm a true hippie girl, so I'm really looking forward to this. And our first spread, we're going to do two pages. And then after that, it'll just be uh, one page and one a month for the year. So as soon as I get my supplies together, I will meet you back here and we're going to get started on this. I'm so excited. Okay, guys, we're going to get started here. And I told you I have no clear vision of where I'm going with this. Um, we're just going to take it step by step. But the first thing I did was I put some wax paper underneath the journal cover and underneath this first page here to try to contain the mess a little bit. Uh, we're not going to be able to avoid it, but we'll try to contain it. And I did lay a piece of packing tape over this seam here and over some of the sewing we just did. I'll do that in between each page uh, to avoid liquid seepage and uh, just to reinforce it a little bit more. I'm going to be using my uh, decoupage matte glue sealer finish to, I have an assortment of sheet music and some dictionary page. I just grabbed randomly, look at that, there's a black snake. Um, and some book page from one of the books I got recently at the auction on mining. So I'm going to just use my um, decoupage and I'm going to rip up these strips of paper and I'm going to randomly glue them all over this page in no order at all. And then when that dries, I'm going to go back and I'm going to do a light coat of this uh, Deco Art Media Gesso in white, uh, very lightly. I might even water it down. And when I'm done with that, I'll see you back. Okay guys, this is still wet, but I wanted to show you this before I put the gesso on, just so you could see what I did. So I just ripped up the dictionary page and the book page, uh, the sheet music, and I also used some of my Tim Holtz melange tissue paper, uh, just in random places. Used the deco art 
decoupage to slap it down and as soon as this dries I'm going to come back in and I'm going to mix a little bit of my gesso uh, like maybe two parts gesso to two parts water like half and half and I'm going to give this a light brush over I, I totally want everything to come through but I want the surface of the gesso that I'll have to work on so as soon as the gesso is dry I'll see that okay I wound up doing two coats of the gesso and again I watered it down I just put a big schmear on my palette and used my um, spray bottle and watered it down that way um, and this is actually two coats and I went over it with my heat gun so it's fairly dry right now and I told you guys I'm kind of winging it as I'm going along here but I think the next step uh, this paper napkin that I got from my dear friend Patty uh, is calling to me and I think it definitely fits in with our flower power theme so I'm going to I think I'm going to cut the border off of this and incorporate a border as well as using some of the flower elements. Um, so I'm going to uh, do some decoupage with that and I'll meet you back here when that part's done. See you in a second. Okay guys, I think I'm done gluing my napkins, although you never know. Um, I did save some of the edge uh, in case I want to do a border when I'm all done with this or at any time, but I, did, I wanted to give myself the option, so I cut that out first. And this is almost dry. It's still a little bit tacky, but uh, when it does fully dry, I'm going to come back in with some of my um, Faber-Castell gel sticks or these watercolor crayons by Statler. And the reason why I'm using these as opposed to acrylic paint is that I want some of this bottom business to show through so I still want to see the words and the notes and you know the napkin coming through so um, I may go in with my ink tents blocks but I don't think so I think I'm just gonna stick with the gel sticks and the watercolor crayons so I'm just gonna scribble on here uh, probably greens and blues um, not sure and then when that's dry, I'll come back and I'll show you that. Okay, you guys, I use the watercolor crayons as well as the gel sticks, um, mostly in blues and greens, actually only in blues and greens. And this is pretty much dry right now. And like I said before, I wanted the um, writing to show through that we did before. So I think I've achieved that. And now, you know, it's crying out for some purple uh, to me. So what I think I'm going to do, um, I pulled out two different stencils here. Um, one is my Delusions, um, like Bubbles stamp uh, stencil. And the other is one of my Andy Skinner um, mixed media stencils in Serendipity, which is just some words. So I thought maybe I would do some stenciling with purple with this one and then come in with uh, either black or white, I'm not sure, or I don't know, maybe, who knows, we'll have to see, but that's my next plan of attack. So after I get done with the stenciling, I'll see when that's okay, done. I just wanted to show you this before I move on to the next stencil that I'm gonna do. Um, again, I use the Delusions Bubbles stencil, and I changed my mind about the paint. Um, I went ahead and used my folk art fluorescent purple um, and this stuff is amazing as you can see um, the lighter purple that I had just wasn't enough of a pop and again we're going for kind of a psychedelic flower power love child summer festival vibe here so um, and I use my handy dandy spouncer again so um, I love that technique. It works great. And then I am going to go in. Um, this is pretty dry. And next I'm going to use my um, Andy Skinner stencil and serendipity and just do a few words all around. Um, and I believe I'm going to do that in white, either white or black. You'll see when I get back. Okay, we had a little bit of a change in plans, but that's okay. We can roll with it. Um, I had initially laid, I decided to use the alphabet spaghetti stencil 
and I took some white acrylic paint and I stenciled it and when I lifted it up I smeared it all over the page and I thought well okay on to plan B and then I just decided to grab my sunburst stencil and I thought that I could maybe do like a tie-dye effect and so I used some of my um, new deco art media misters I used magenta and purple and primary cyan and I think I sprayed too much or I was too close but I flooded the stencil as you can see I did it not once but twice and so they're kind of blurry and a little dark but we're just gonna go with it and I think that the next thing that I'm going to do is come in with some stamps uh, randomly and then after the stamps I think we're gonna do some collage again I'm still not really sure where we're going with this so uh, yeah definitely next thing is gonna be stamps and I'll see you okay, guys done. before I did any stamping I thought it was a little dark so I went in with more of my misters I can't get enough of this stuff and I did some uh, primary yellow or you know mellow yellow and some orange sunshine and then I had to do a couple spritz of the white because it just looks so cool uh, and then I grabbed a couple of my stamps I just went into my box and I knew for sure that I wanted to use uh, my Grateful Dead stamp and I have had this stamp probably going on 30 years um, and you know it's got the little copyright symbol on there but no festival for me would ever be complete without some Grateful Dead so um, I stamped a couple little bears and then a few of my um, I think these are Tim Holtz stamps just for background and some script these are uh, cities in the world and then a couple random just cling stamps this one's really pretty it's almost like a mandala uh, flowers and I think I did this one too and I just used my stays on in jet black and the next step you guys I think I'm gonna do some drawing um, maybe sketch out a little focal point of I don't know if I want to do a hippie girl or something but I'm gonna have some kind of focal point and I also thought that I might want to do some cutouts of music notes or peace signs. And if I do that, I will gesso some book page and then cut them out of the book page just to kind of put around randomly. So again, I'm either going to draw or collage a focal point and then I'm going to come back with some embellishments. And I'm going to use again that um, my decoupage to put everything down and that's probably when you're going to see me next unless you see me sooner so hang on okay guys i think i'm done with creating focal elements um i did a combination of collage elements and actual uh, drawing i created this um, based on the uh, woodstock festival poster three days of piece of music and I just added the, the, it's normally just the neck of the guitar, so I added the actual guitar. And then I made this kind of a dancing, hippie, gypsy, witchy girl uh, holding a tambourine. And um, the piece dove. So those I actually just did in pencil, and then I used my watercolor crayons to add some color to those. Um, I did some music notes. I don't know if I'm going to use all this stuff, or most of it, or some of it. We'll see at the end, but... I just cut some music notes out of um, gessoed music paper. Uh, same thing with these hearts. Just little tiny hearts and I colored them with my watercolor pencil. Um, and the rest, oh no, I have one more. Um, I had scanned some of my journal pages and one of them being my uh, Good Morning Starshine page. So I made it smaller and I just cut out the sun from that. And I was trying to decide if I was going to use this as a flower, but I think I am going to use it as a sun here. So I have that. And then the rest are just mag magazine cutout collage. So I have some butterflies. 
and I have some peace signs and make art not war and one of these so I'm gonna take these and arrange them around on the page um, and here's our page and when I'm done with that I will see you back here so I'm just gonna use decoupage to glue everything down see you in a minute okay guys I guess I'm pleased with the arrangement that I have um, I never know when to stop and I'm never quite done um, but you got to stop somewhere right so I think I've happy with what I've got and as soon as this dries I just went over everything with a light coat of the Mod Podge um, as soon as it dries I'm going to go in with um, my black watercolor pencil and um, just outline everything and then you know use my water brush and activate it just to highlight and I'm gonna put some kind of a border on this and I had originally thought that I would go back in with these um, napkin strips but now that I look at it I just don't like it so I'm gonna figure something out I may just do a black border uh, black acrylic paint or mm, I'm not sure but you're gonna find out in just a minute so we're almost done. okay guys I'm gonna call this done right now um, I went back in and I outlined things with my Derwent ink tense blocks and I also used my white Signo gel roller to go around a few things and I created a border using some black acrylic paint and I outlined that to make it look scalloped I did a little detail work on the butterflies and random little spirals around and I added some glitter here and there and I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm going to stop now before I just go, go, go and muddy it all up. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you check out the Gypsy Rita Marie's video as well. And I'll leave the links below. And I hope this inspires you to create something of your own and maybe put you in the mood for a little flower power and peace, love and music. Um, keep arting, have a beautiful day, and we'll see you every month on the 15th for the next year. So take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.